Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Tell us about this New Age book, The Secret, and why there's so much confusing that it's biblical principles. Well, it is not uh, based on biblical principles, which is something I know that uh, you agree with. Um, I might mention that on the truelight.net, uh, my comparative religion website, uh, there is a link uh, to a video that's called There's More to the Secret that was put out a couple of years ago, and I was blessed to be included in that video. I, I don't uh, necessarily agree with all of the conclusions they came to, but they allowed me to present the biblical point of view concerning that concept. And, and I pulled out those excerpts and posted them there on the website. Uh, again, I think the error boils down to a misconception concerning the nature of God. In The Secret, Rhonda Burns refers to God as uh, a genie, and, and that uh, and, and he is and God is described uh, as the universe, not as God in a personal sense, but the universe in a very um, cold and impersonal sense and the whole idea is that whatever dominates your thinking whatever dominates your speech the universe will grant it to you now within that concept there's no accountability to god uh there uh, that is um celebrated uh it doesn't matter or is not even mentioned that you have to submit your life to him it's different altogether because a genie is under the power and the authority of whoever controls it uh if you rub up the bottle you know the myth uh then the genie pops out and says your wish is my command and so it makes this god that is the universe subservient to man who can control God by thinking uh, certain things or saying th certain things uh, to such degree that uh, you turn it into reality. You send out the beams to turn it into reality. Uh, now, that's absolutely a false concept. And many have tried it and found out that it doesn't work flawlessly. Uh, it's not going to work flawlessly because there's uh, too much error in the concept, it is powerful to have a positive thought life. It is powerful to have a positive uh, attitude reflected in your speech. But we do not control God. There's many other factors that enter into it. You can't be, for instance, to take one example, you can't be living a life of rebellion and uh, committing adultery and, and doing drugs, et cetera, et cetera, living that kind of lifestyle and then just speak all kinds of blessings on your own life and, and expect that to come to pass just because you control the universe with your words. Uh, step number one is submit to the authority of God. And when you pray, uh, it's not all about catering to the flesh. The Bible said you have not because you ask not and you ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lust. Well, the secret is all about consuming things upon your lust because the whole idea is getting a uh, uh, the most expensive car getting a huge luxurious house having lots of money having fantastic relationships with with uh uh people of the uh, uh, uh of the opposite sex or i suppose same sex too if they believe that's okay uh, but anyway, it's all about indulgence. It's all about indulgence, having what you lust after, having what you desire. And that's not what life is about. It's almost opposite of what the scriptures tell us in terms of just being happy yeah. with what's given to us and not seeking uh, more than we're given and just knowing his will for us and just being satisfied with it. Uh, it's you know, amazing. Jesus, before I forget, I need to insert this thought. Uh, proponents of the secret think it's necessary to have something dominate your mind to pull it into existence. Uh, but Jesus said, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall put on. The body is more than raiment. Yeah. Uh, life is yeah. more than food.
And so he says, don't think about it. Your heavenly father already knows that you need these things. He's a father who provides for his own, not a force that can be manipulated by its controllers. They say nothing happens to you, uh, proponents of the secret, uh, who incidentally base their belief on the idea that we are God. And so again, pantheism is the root problem. Uh, but they say that nothing happens to you in life unless you put up beams for it, unless you uh, have negative thoughts and that brings that negative thing into your life. Well, let me give you an example. Uh, I don't think anybody on the Titanic was thinking this, this thing's going to sink. We're going to have uh, a crash with an iceberg and it's going to rip the side of the ship open. Quite the opposite. They were all thinking that there's no way that this ship could ever be damaged. It, it's, it, it, it's too big a ship. It's too strong. The walls are too thick. They all had this heady kind of pride that even God couldn't sink the Titanic. And so that idea is proven wrong just by that example because negative thoughts were not dominating everyone on the ship. Sure. So they didn't draw that disaster to themselves. Sure. 